Hey guys, what up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning into another video. So in this video, I want to talk about confidence. Give you three things to think about that can help you be more confident um, as you navigate your career. In particular for product designers, um, for those of you that are new to the product design space, coming into product design, those of you that are navigating and growing as a product designer, in particular, going after new roles, interviewing with recruiters, interviewing with hiring managers, etc. Three things to think about. Before I get into those three things, just confidence in general. The way I look at it is confidence is that barrier that stands between where you are today and where you want to go, okay? It's not natural for everyone or I think folks to be naturally confident. I think it's something that you have to learn once you become confident. I think we are all confident internally, but anytime you're put in a situation that you want to perform your best at, um, you're going to you're going to, you know, be a little nervous and you're not going to be overly confident. So you have to know how to turn that switch on or just, you know, go through some exercises that can help you be more confident. Um, I tweeted out something recently that we got to find that balance between confidence and and it's humility because too much of both could lead to could be a disadvantage meaning if you're overly confident you could be coming off as somebody that's a jerk and if you're too much on the um, humility side that could be taken as being insecure right but so you want to lean more on the side of confidence and that's in my opinion I see it all the time designers that have the skills have everything but they just don't have the confidence, but you wanna lean on that side of confidence. That's how you're going to get to the places that you wanna go. The three things that I think about, number one, is really a mindset thing, it's really a context thing. Taking a step back, look at yourself from a bird's eye perspective and look at all the situations that you're not confident in, you know, interviews, public speaking, or whatever, you know, speaking in front of a panel, all this different stuff. And what I like to do is, is Look at it from the different vantage point. Look at it from their vantage point. Everybody wants you to be confident in all these situations. The, the, all these situations that you're, you're normally not confident in, they all want you to be confident. They need you to be confident. Um, you're doing yourself and them a disservice by not being confident. You know, recruiters would love a confident candidate. Hiring managers would love a confident candidate. Um, directors, executives, um, everybody that you interact with that you might be nervous, public speaking, speaking on camera, whatever it may be, on the opposite end, they want a confident person, right? And they want you to be confident. It's a win-win. They want you to win and you want to win. When you start thinking thinking of it like this, it, it changed my mind where it's like, you know what, I got to be confident instead of trying to be humble. Hey, you know what? You know, hi, I'm a nice person. I know this, this, or this. Go in there, be confident of what you know, and be sure what you know, and present yourself as this confident person. It'll go a long way. Two is more tactical, is more being aware, fully clear, having full, complete clarity on the position that you're going after, right? When you're not clear on the position that you're going after and clear of what's being asked of you and what's demanded in this role, um, they can throw things out at you. You know, hey, we need you to be a uh, you know be an astronaut know how to build rocket ships and know how to do JavaScript and all this other stuff and you can be thrown off I still get this question a lot it's very confusing UX is very confusing um, that's why I preach I try to preach the basics visual design problem solving critical thinking and communication that's the core of what you do each and every day but it's easy for me somebody that's been in the industry for 20 years to to know these things but that's why you got to reach out. You got to reach out to professionals like myself and get full clarity on these things as you navigate um, throughout um, this, this position in this particular role. All right, number three is an add-on to number two is skill development. Obviously, work on your skills consistently in those things that's needed for that particular role. And don't get confused that this means you have to be fully an expert in these things. It's no, it's just continuous development in these areas be fully aware and be fully sure of the skills that you're going into that's needed for this particular role be fully um, understanding and sure of your design process be fully aware and sure of the problem solving process and things of that nature when you're fully aware of those things and you practice those things each and every day 
when you're put into these situations, you're going to be less and less unsure and more and more confident um, to take on projects and things like that. All right. So those are three things. Number one is really mindset, getting full context of the situation, knowing that on the other the opposite vantage point, they want you to be they need you to be confident. Number two is being fully aware of this role and what's um, what goes on in this particular role. Number three is skill development. Now, number two and three, I can help you with that. If you're interested in learning more about those things, I'm offering a one on one coaching service. I don't have my page up yet. It'll be out pretty soon. But if you're interested in that, you can click on the link in the bottom, uh, ML UX Academy. Go there, use the contact page there. Just shoot me a message. Hey, Mike, I heard about your one on one um, coaching mentor session. I would love to take advantage of that. Obviously, in a one on one situation, um, this is where I can break down these things, answer these questions for you, and really uh, dive deep into the details and what to expect as you navigate throughout. Um, this profession and with that one-on-one -on -one session that's when you can get fully clear have a clear action plan and approach these situations with the fullest of confidence so if you're interested in that just shoot me an email go to my site MLX Academy and uh, I'll be happy to get you on my schedule as always thanks for watching my videos if you hit the, like the um, like the things I talk about hit that thumbs up um, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not Hit that notification bell to be notified when I go live or when I post a new video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Hope you got a nugget or two from this. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.